This is section 5.3, which is sum and difference identities. We're going to talk about cosine of a difference, cosine of a sum, sine of a difference or sum, and tangent of a difference or sum. Okay, so these are our sum and difference formulas. So what you should notice is that that symbol is the plus on the top and the minus on the bottom, where that symbol right there is the opposite. So that means if you have cosine of u plus v, you're going to put a minus over here on the right. And if you have cosine of u minus v, you would put a plus over here on the right. And then we have sine. Notice that these symbols are the same. So if it's sine of u plus v, use a plus. If it's sine of u minus v, you use a minus. Okay, so first example, find the exact value of cosine of 75 without using a calculator. So what you want to do is you want to take 75 and you want to either break it up into a u plus v or a u minus v that will give you 75. And you want to find two angles that are on the unit circle so that we actually know what the cosine or sine of those um, values are. So if we think about this, 75 is 45 plus 30. So we can say cosine of 75 is equal to cosine of 45 plus 30. So u is 45 in this case and v is 30. So I'm going to write it out using my formula. So this is going to be cosine of 45, cosine of 30, minus, because remember cosine is the opposite sign, sine of 45, sine of 30. So now we can find all those values because 45 is the value on our unit circle or an angle on our unit circle and so is 30. So we're going to just substitute what these are equal to. So cosine of 45 is just square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2. Sine of 45 is square root of 2 over 2. And sine of 30 is 1 half. Now we're going to simplify. Remember, if you have a square root times a square root, you multiply what's underneath. So this would be square root of 6 over 4 minus square root of 2 over 4. And then we have a common denominator there, so we can write this as the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 over 4. And that's as simplified as you get it. So that can be a way to find cosine or sine of a value that's not on your unit circle, but where the, you can break it up into a sum or a difference of two angles that are on your unit circle. Okay, so now this is kind of working backwards. It says write the following expression as a sine or cosine of angle. So you'll notice we have sine cosine plus sine cosine. So if you look at your formulas, that would be sine of u, and since it's sine, it's the same sign, same positive negative sign symbol. So it'd be sine of u plus v. So we can say that u is pi over three and v is pi over four. So this would be sine of pi over 3 plus pi over 4. And then we can add those two together. We can get a common denominator. So we can multiply this one by 4 top and bottom and this one by 3 on the top and the bottom. So this would be 4 pi plus 3 pi. So we would get sine of 7 pi over 12 would be a single trig function. So it's working backwards using that sum or difference formula. Okay, then tangent, tangent, this is our tangent formula. So tangent of u plus v is tangent of u plus tangent of v over tangent 1 minus tangent of u tangent of v. Or what's kind of easier to think about is you can just take your sine of u plus or minus v over cosine of u plus or minus v. So you can use sine over cosine or you can use the tangent function. So we are going to, um, for this one, so we're proving a tangent reduction formula. So we're going to prove that tangent of theta minus 3 pi over 2 is equal to negative cotangent. So this is a verification like we did in our last section, but I'm going to use the idea of knowing that tangent is going to be um, 
sine over cosine. So this is going to be sine of theta minus 3 pi over 2 over cosine of theta minus 3 pi over 2. So now because we have subtraction on both of those, we can break them up into sine of u minus v and cosine of u minus v. So sine of u minus v would be, this is going to be sine of theta, cosine of 3 pi over 2, minus, because it's the same if it's sine, cosine of theta, sine of 3 pi over 2, over, so now we're using the cosine of u minus v, so it'd be cosine of theta, cosine of 3 pi minus 3 pi over 2, and it's going to be plus because it's opposite with cosine, then it's going to be sine of theta, sine of 3 pi over 2. So if we, we can find cosine and sine of 3 pi over 2. So this is going to turn into, I'm going to continue up here. This is going to be sine of theta times, so cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0, minus um, cosine of theta, times, so sine of 3 pi over 2 would be negative 1 over cosine of theta times 0 plus sine of theta times negative 1. Okay, so the zeros, the, that's going to cancel. So the numerator is going to turn into cosine of theta because it's negative 1 times negative cosine of theta. And the denominator is going to be negative sine of theta. And if we take cosine over sine, that's cotangent. So this would be negative cotangent, which we're showing is equal right there. Okay, so that's how we use some